Hola amigos, welcome to my kitchen. This is Fatima, I'm Fatima Spanish Kitchen and here in my kitchen you will find recipes from my country of origin, Spain. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, you know, it's free and you will help, you know, this channel to grow a little bit. Hola amigos, esta, soy Fátima, aquí en este canal encontrarás recetas de mi país de origen, España. Si no te has suscrito a mi canal, por favor, aquí debajo hay un link, es gratis y, hay, y nos ayudarás a crecer un poco más. Hey, I'm going to share with you a very highly requested recipe. Sangria, that is a very typical Spanish drink and is very popular here in the state and I think all over the world. But now we are closing to our festivities, you know, holidays, and we have to celebrate to go, you know, the 2020 have to go away and to be with open hands to the 2021 to share my recipe because from sangria you can find so many different type of sangrias every family has you know her own touch but i think basically have a few things and the good thing is you can customize a little bit depend of your taste but one thing that for me is sangria is with red wine I mean, we, uh, sangria, the meaning of sangria is bleeding, and I think you bleed, in your blood is red, completely. <laughs> so for me, the, the sangria, and I think for any Spaniards that you will ask, the sangria always is with red wine. But you know, if you don't like fr uh, red wine, feel free to make it with any other wine, and follow the instruction how we, I make it. Sangria uh, drink is good, you know, when you have a party, you have a barbecue, it's perfect for the summertime, you know, it's very refreshing. So let's start to make our sangria. As always, all the ingredients, exact in the ingredients will be at the end of this video. Uh, para Español estarán debajo de la descripción de este video. We are needing a jar, you need a bowl, whenever you want. A jar here, I have a wine. Here is my red wine, I'm using today a Rioja, it's a bottle. And you know, feel free to use another type of red wine that you like, uh, but I like to make it with a Rioja that make it, you know, very nice. And I have some sugar, some orange juice, some cinnamon, and also here I have some Sprite, you know, feel free to use a ginger ale or, or any other, you know, fizzy drink that you like, but I mean juicy no coca uh, coke don't use coke <laughs> some fruit for the fruit you can vary depend on the season that you are here today i'm going to cut some bananas i have some lemon apple and oranges also it is good to use uh, strawberries or peaches you know if you are in the summer what i do is with the lemon so what i do is i slice the lemon and what i like to do is cut it in half and then in half again uh, the fruit have to be very washed because we are going to just to put it inside. So for the apple, for the amount of, uh, I'm just going to use half of the apple. Um, what I'm going is cut it. I'm going to core out and then just cut it. I have my orange that I do exactly the same as with the, I cut it in slices. like orange you don't put orange so what I'm going to do is put it in my jar all my fruit because what I would like to do to soak the wine in the fruit to get more flavor so I have all my fruit in my jar I'm going to put my bottle my whole bottle of wine I mean you can make it accordingly if you have a big party you can use more wine and then use the measurement you know updated and also you make it if you want less strong more strong more sweet or less sweet now i have a quarter of a part of orange juice and so I, here i put it i think that is fine now let's mix it if together and now i'm going to put a sprite and for the sprite i put a half of oh half of the part so i just fill it with the fish. So you see that the, the sprinkle thing, I like that. 
and we mix it really well a little bit of rum that is optional a brandy whenever drink you like if you don't want that hard liquor put it in the you know you can skip i'm going just to put one tablespoon and taste it to see how it looks like and i mix it again everything and now the final touch uh, well the final touch no before i got sugar i'm going to put one tablespoon two tablespoons of sugar because i think the sangria have to be a little bit sweet but not too much you know but if you are a sweet person and you love sweet or you don't you know you do accordingly to your taste and now i'm going to put my touch that is cinnamon that is very spanish spice we use it that a lot so that is power cinnamon i'm going just to sprinkle just a little bit because i don't want to overdo the cinnamon but you know give a touch that you will see how nice is the cinnamon you uh, you don't believe how is the taste with the cinnamon now i'm going to stop i'm going to leave that beautiful jar in the refrigerator for a few hours to cool down in case your party is restrained and you don't have time to soak it in the refrigerator you can serve it with ice because the sangria have to be cold but the problem is if you put too much ice inside it gets watery so you have to be careful that the you know the ice melt inside the sangria and then the, the you know the taste is completely different has passed around two hours with my sangria have been in the refrigerator so now we are going to serve it i'm going to try before to see how you know if we need anything so one thing that i like to use a wood spoon here is that you hold all the fruit and you just take out the sangria we need a little bit more of sugar i told you that the sangria needs sugar and a little bit more of a sprite and and I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon, just a touch, because you need it. Well, we can serve the sangria in different ways. If you have a party, you can use a punch bowl and put the sangria, you know, with a ladder and then everybody serve. You can use, you know, those uh, party uh, containers where you put the sangria and everybody serves and serve. You can put it in different jars, you know, and everybody uh, serve it. Or you can have it, you know, with glasses, you know, big or small, and then you can put, you know, some lemonade, how I'm uh, orange, so I'm going to serve it, and I'm going to serve it. So add uh, some ice, and then I just serve it. And salud, let's try it. Mm, so good. You know, the sangria in a refreshing day or when you have a party, people love it here in the state. The sangria is a very refreshing, it's a very party drink. Everybody likes sangria. You have enjoyed this video. I see you next week. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the bottom and the like. And I see you next week. Salud. Have a super wonderful week.